Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to change the steering wheel in your E90 from this steering wheel to this one. Okay, let's go straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you disconnect your battery. And in this car the battery is located in the trunk. So you open up the trunk. On the right side there is this carpet cover thing then there's one screw or bolt or whatever it is here you turn it like 90 degrees and then you can pull it off one on this side but here it, it's missing and you can pull this thing out like that down here here's the battery take a 10 mil unscrew this bolt very good so after you disconnected the battery you want to keep an allen key or a hex key and on this old steering wheel you have these pins down here put it in and you swipe it straight up like this okay this is too big you need a smaller one otherwise you can also take just a screwdriver put it in and then if you pull it in you want to pull the screwdriver out okay see okay then the same thing on the other side the screwdriver is in you pull it this way so then i'm gonna show you give me a sec once you let the air back out you disconnect this gray connector and it pops right off so here see if you pull this if you put the screwdriver in you go up like this go here and you will definitely feel when you're hitting this aluminium and then all you do is push this metal thing this way and you can see right here in the middle how it unlocks the airbag thing same goes for the other side after we've done that we put the black connector out as well just pull this one out okay now we're gonna get off the 16 millimeter bolt in the middle that's it after we put the bolt out can wiggle it a bit and then it should pop right off put this on the back and now you want to make sure that this thing is not spinning it's very important because if this spins there is a cable inside here and if you spin this it can break it can break, damage the cable inside and then this is broken then you need a new one and usually it will not spin until you push this see a security pin down and then it's free to spin but don't do this very important okay now that we have the old steering wheel off and um, we want to put the new one in and therefore we need to remove the airbag from the new steering wheel there is on this steering wheel it's actually kind of hard to see it but there's like small dents in the leather and in this steering wheel you need to put the screwdriver in here or whatever you're using 
kind of like this and on that wheel all you want to do is just press all right now i just got it out there's the airbag and now i'm gonna show you oh, wait okay so what you want to do on this steering wheel is give me a sec you took now I took a smaller Allen key and you want to push it in here and you go in this like tunnel and the, everything you need to do is just press press it in and then you can see that the spring is moving it's kind of hard to film see the spring is moving you just need to press it in and you don't go up like this, like in the old steering wheel. You go in an angle in to the center of the steering wheel. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to get it out, but yeah. Now, next thing you want to do when you put the steering wheel in, you see a mark up in the steering wheel right there. And the same thing goes on this shaft where the steering wheel bolts onto. So you just can't put it in one way and make sure that you put it in the right way. Okay, now we put the steering wheel on. You see the mark, the marks down there matches. Otherwise you would, wouldn't even get it on. Now put the uh, buttons back in and this wiring goes in here and this clamp same goes for the airbag just plug it in wiring goes now on this side okay once you put the bolt in make sure that you tie it up to torque 62.5 newton meters Now we're gonna put the airbag back in. Quick tip, before you put the airbag back in all, uh, make sure that you connect the battery again and check if you have and if everything's working. Okay, now we've put the battery, connect the battery again. And now we will see. That's gonna work or not. We'll start the car. We've <laughs> got a check engine light. I mean, of course, it's a BMW. Okay, no air brake light. Um, that's good clock and everything is resetted because we disconnected the battery but that means we can push whoops if you push the airbag back in so and there she is with a new steering wheel installed looks way better than the stock one and this is leather feels nice it's it's scratched up here and down there and here as well but um I think I'm gonna put leather on this or I'm gonna repaint that anyways but for now I just put this wheel in because it looks way better and it feels way better like a steering wheel changes change so much because you're always touching it while driving and it can totally change the feel of a car when you drive it yeah but that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next one.